We are heading over to Suniva Fushi. Crikey, it's an influencer in the wild. What is this? This is so nice. Working my ass off on this bamboo bike. What the hell? Now she mobbing. Her buddies. What the? Hi, baby. Oh, survived, barely. <laughs> boy, oh boy, do we have a story for you. Good morning from Seneva Johnny. It's been a remarkable trip. We have a remarkable trip planned beyond this and pull my leg, but <laughs> we're literally gonna go to another incredible Discover Seneva Resort. Oh, sh there's a shark right now. Just another little casual reef shark looking for breakfast just like me. So anyway, guys, this is day five. We have all day today, and then we're headed to Discover Seneva's second resort called Seneva Fushi. They say that they pioneered barefoot luxury here in the Maldives. So I'm really excited to scope that out. It looks a lot more jungle. We're headed to Fushi tomorrow on that boat and then we're there for three nights. Right now, I'm gonna cut the clip because this prego girl right here is hungry. We got a shark in the water, boo, getting breakfast. I'm trying to show my bump and you're covering me. <laughs> Where's the shark? I don't know where the shark is. It was, it's a little boy. What are we doing today? How about we start with square one? Let's go. Food. Eat. Okay, so our amazing butler, Rahu, let us play in one of their three bedroom villas. This place is such family vacation goals. I cannot wait to bring little Bubby here, but I just wanna quickly show you this incredible villa. We've been like sweating our asses off. It is so hot. And then in here, we get like a little retreat. It feels so good. Also, something I didn't vlog. Oh my God, Brennan and I discovered the bikes outside our villa. We like never used because if we're going far, we would have have Rahu just drive us in the buggy. And then if we're going to a restaurant, we would just walk to the restaurant. But last night we decided to bike. It was so much fun. So what we decided was to bike to this villa. Of course, it made us really hot and we have to bike back. Brennan has like an electric bike. So if he doesn't want to pedal too hard, he doesn't have to. But my bike is freaking wooden. It's like, <laughs> it's like literally made of bamboo. Literally, I'm pedaling, working my ass off on this like bamboo bike. <laughs> So it's quite comical. We're just gonna play around in here for like a couple hours, drink some coconut water, treat it like our own villa. So we're in the middle of the island. I would say like a quarter of the way in. That was good, Boo. That was a good estimation. Wow. I got cookies? Yeah, you got cookies. Okay, bike time. My wooden bike, Brennan's electric. Okay. Phone, bag, let's get on the sucker. It's an influencer in the wild. Back for more. I don't know if the microphone is any good right now, but that's okay. We'll survive. Crikey, it's a wild crocodile. Its stomach is bulbous from its previous meal. I've never seen such a wild, incredible specimen. It feels so nice, Liv. Yeah, I know, but I'll fry like a pancake on a- I'm not telling you to get in. I'm just saying that it feels good on my body to swim right now. Good. How are you feeling? I have a lot of pressure over here. Just did an inversion and now it's just lightened. I'm only 23 weeks. 
part of life being a baby mama, especially when the baby is made by a ass hunky boy. But I love it though. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love being pregnant. Well, let's just have 11 then. First baby boy. Okay guys, this is like the sweetest thing ever. They just gave us a floating cake for our baby moon. And we were in the pool and then we got out and then we showered. Right when we got out. And then this bitch is just like floating in the water out here alone. Cause we didn't know. No, Which look, is another one. There's so many. I thought it was a crow at first, and I was like, no, it's a bat, and it's like literally dipping into the water. I, I don't even know bats do that. That's like some eagle shit. That's crazy. Like, talk about adaptation. Like, bats here would have to not be afraid of water. Or, like, they would have to diversify based upon if there's no fish? berries in a season, there's a lot of fish in the ocean, but you gotta figure out how to fish them. That's so fing cool. That is really cool. Okay. This oh is our my dinner. god what is this this is so nice okay we have to like put this in the fridge and eat after dinner Look at these little cupcakes she knows we like the coconuts because we ordered them earlier wow rahu you're the real mvp thank you so much All right, we are all packed and we are heading over to Soniva Fushi. Are you excited, babe? Paparazzi. Okay, Brennan wants to take pictures. So we were originally supposed to take a boat that was gonna be like an hour and 15 minutes. And then they just decided to put us on a seaplane. So it's gonna be like a 15 minute transfer. I think I already have a spa session at Fushi. And yesterday we were looking at the app for Fushi and they have like a lot more food offerings than they do at Johnny. So I can only imagine what it's gonna be like i'm really excited they're not so much focused on the overwater bungalow vibe they're mostly like villas that are on the beach which is really nice because after some time i start to feel very ungrounded when i'm just living on water <laughs> i'm like where the f is the land <laughs> and so i'm really excited to be in the sand take a break from creating content we're still gonna vlog but i think i'm gonna be a lot less focused on like taking pictures and taking reels and just like letting myself just shut my mind off and just have fun what what? Are you okay? How'd yeah, that happen? I slammed my toe into this chunky wood peel. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, with that being said, let's go to Fushi. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so we just arrived at Suneva Fushi. The reason why my hair is oily, I got coconut oil just drenched in my hair is because Brennan and I got picked up from the jetty. We came to our room and first of all, completely different vibe from Suneva Johnny. Let's just say it's very naturesque. It's very grounding. I feel so relaxed here because there's so much foliage and there's birds and there's bats everywhere flying around. I like bats, don't worry. They're not like disgusting or creepy. They're, they pretty much look like birds here. Anyway, super relaxing. We saw our room super quick, which I'll show you in just a moment. And then we went straight to the spa. So I got a 60 minute prenatal massage, of course. Brendan got a 60 minute massage. We've done very little exploring except for the spa. And uh, we walked. So it's another one of those barefoot <laughs> luxury hotels. And Brendan isn't really vibing with it because he has very sensitive feet. There's like little rocks in the sand. So I think we're going to put our shoes back on. Yeah, let me show you guys around. The bathroom is kind of cool here too. And we're gonna check out our little beach area that I haven't yet seen myself. So let's go. This is our view. Very relaxed, very nature-esque. As I said, we have a pool, we have the beach over there, and then we have some lounge area, lounge spaces. We got the most basic room at this hotel. So this is just a beach villa. First I thought this was a window to someone else's room. And then I realized it's a mirror, <laughs> so thank God. So here's my pregnancy pillow that they just delivered, which is humongous. They bought you a pregnancy bed, not a pregnancy pillow. Where the <laughs> f am I gonna sleep? <laughs> Yes, the bathroom is bigger than the room. That's the whole vibe here. <laughs> they go big on the bathrooms. Wow, right? And then that goes out to the beach. Ooh, 
this is like a two person shower. Okay, love it, amazing. Oh, this is beautiful. Bikes. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. This is what the entrance to our villa looks like. Super private. Super private, look at that. Struggle bussin'. Bussin', bussin'. Do we know where we're going? No. Do you know how to get there? No. Okay, let's go find a sign. After you, I'll catch up. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, it went the wrong way. Out of the blue. Oh, we're blue. going to. Okay, she was oh, right. Damn, what in the hell? Now she mobbing. Island life looks good on you. Okay. Yeah. Someone on TripAdvisor described this place as like a hippie commune <laughs> and I'm laughing because it's so true because everyone here is barefoot and our main mode of transportation is either walking or bicycles. So I'm about to show you this huge row of everyone's bicycles because everyone's just biking on the island going from place to place and I have to say the food here is unbelievable. It is out of this world. I've never experienced like every single morsel of food being like some of the best I've ever had. Seriously, if you care about your like health and wellness, not only are you getting so much movement into your body just by being alive here and getting yourself from place to place, but the food quality and like all the herbs and they have like Ayurvedic doctors here that can give you a consultation and tell you which herbs to take. There's like little tonics and powders and like all these things that I can't have right now because not good for little Bubba. But I was telling Brennan, like if I wasn't pregnant, I would literally have like 600 different like mushrooms <laughs> in all of my like smoothies and coffees and water and everything we're gonna have to say goodbye to kaya and mila and g baby manny manny because this is definitely a lot faster and healthier than the r8 <laughs> and that's definitely a lot healthier and faster than the g wagon so. are you saying we're moving to a hippie commune no i'm just saying that i gotta say bye bye to the germans and hello to the island vibes Boy, oh boy, do we have a story for you. Brennan, I need Brennan to help me tell the story. It's like, what just happened? First of all, do you see my hair right now? I left this like this, just so I can show you that this is proof of our story, okay? <laughs> So, Soniva Fushi is known for snorkeling. There's certain points off this resort where the water immediately like goes down 30 meters off of shore and like you can see octopus and like all kinds of crazy fish, right? Well, I really wanted to go see turtles. So there's a place called Turtle Point and I thought that we would get like a better experience if we have a guided snorkel tour. So we meet at the meeting point. We meet with another family. It was a dad and a daughter duo and it's us. We get on the boat and we start going and I noticed it's like a little choppy whatever cool not even thinking anything of it and we finally reached this like area where you can see like beautiful turquoise water kind of opening in the middle of the ocean we get off and it's sunny and it's beautiful we see a turtle within the first five minutes i'm like super happy watch the turtle i'm noticing it's like a lot of effort for us to kind of snorkel which is fine it's painting all of a sudden, the visibility starts to get worse and trash, worse trash. and worse. So, Catherine and I have snorkeled the Great Barrier Reef, which is super cool. I've done that twice. The first time I went, the visibility sucked so bad, and it was so rough and choppy. This was crazy. And what I mean by that isn't like, don't come here crazy. It was hilarious in its craziness. This is a tropic, so like, storms come and go, but they're not like big storms. Yeah. They're like these little vortexes of energy and precipitation, all of a sudden, just... A 
emerges and it starts raining like downpour. Like dumping, you guys. You couldn't see anything above through water your goggles. Or underwater. And when you put your head underwater, it felt like hail on your back. Yeah, and the current was so strong and the waves were so strong, and all of a sudden our guide goes, Everybody hold on to Lily. A life Collins. preserver, a f life ring. Life ring, there they we go. Through the life rings. We had like no, two no, no. life rings. He was swimming with the life ring the yes, whole that's time. True. He because threw it, yeah. I'm sure they know that the current is strong in that area. Yeah. I was like, why the hell do we need this? We're just snorkeling. Yeah, I was like, and then I was like, oh my God, thank God for this life ring. Can All I have another, of a sudden, please? <laughs> he's like, everybody hold on. You cannot see anything. You see yeah, you can't the see boat anything. barely in the distance. Yeah. You hear yelling from our guide and you hear yelling from the captain. And then at one point, the four of us start laughing our asses off. Like we're like barely <laughs> surviving this thing. And we're laughing our asses off. I think it's like a survival mechanism. I don't even know if you were aware of this part. They threw the rope and our guy caught it and was pulling us for a while, but at some point he lost the rope. Yeah, I caught and that so part, the, yes. And so we had to redo throughout, the whole thing. Like, Brennan <laughs> pulls out his like skills. All of a sudden he's the one to save us. I hooked up like one life preserver like this and the other one like this. And when he started driving quickly, I was like, I think I can do this, but I really <laughs> Hope he doesn't speed up anymore. Wait, wait, we forgot the best part. <laughs> As we're holding on for dear life, after like three minutes of the captain struggling to come get us, our guide says, it's getting better now. Do we want to continue snorkeling? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we all look at each other and we're like, no. And homie, homie next to us was like, I need a f***ing whiskey. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we need a whiskey. Anyway, we get on the boat. We look Razzled as fuck, and then the whole team on the boat is like soaked from the rain. Oh yeah, the guy is He's soaked. So he looked like he was snorkeling. He with looked us. like he dove really in the cold. water. Yeah. Anyway, we get on the boat, and now we're safe on land. We ordered in well dining, right? It's already here. It's here. I ordered the chicken yakitori. Oh my god. We'll show you what we ordered in a sec. Well, this is the room service we just ordered. We both got pizzas. Yeah. I got truffle, baby. Yummy. Oh my god, you got like Italian feast over here. I got everything. The little pho. Let's eat. Let's heal our wounds from today. <laughs> It is a rainy day here at Suniva Fushi, which I actually don't mind this time because Brennan and I planned that Fushi would just be very much like a chill vacation where we don't have to worry about a thing, no pictures, no makeup. Literally haven't worn makeup in like maybe six days, five days, no eyelashes, nothing. Since it's a rainy day, I'm heading over to the spa. So instead of doing the sand bank, which is originally our plan, it's not like a private island, but it's just this bit of sand that sticks out in the water and they bring like umbrellas and snacks and all these things And like that would have been amazing if today was a sunny day But since it's not I booked a 90 minute massage and a 60 minute facial <laughs> So I'm gonna be there for two and a half hours. I'm so excited But pretty much since breakfast, which I'm gonna vlog tomorrow's breakfast because you guys have to see this buffet It is ridiculous. It is so amazing. Literally every morning. I'm like, oh my god We have to go to breakfast since breakfast. We've literally Really just been in our room i've been reading also the robes here you guys they're like silk robes very light perfect for summer i think brennan and i are gonna buy some okay let's go to the spa dinner tonight and instead we're just here for ice cream and dessert i just wanted to show you guys look at the freaking chocolate room what this is way more impressive than samiba janney okay what flavor are you gonna get though definitely all the sorbets so many Yeah. Passion fruit, mango, raspberry, and watermelon. This is so refreshing. This is dinner. This literally is our dinner. The whole buffet is happening tonight, and we're skipping it for ice cream. Okay, but I don't think I mentioned that all the ice cream flavors, even like the creamy ones, are all dairy free. Oh, look at the bunnies. What the? F oh my god, hi, babies. Hold it. 
you guys think I'm gonna give you something? Guys, look at this. Miss Catherine has got money She's trying one, to talk about my ice cream. Money two and money three. She's surrounded. She's the bunny. It's really interesting. I've been calling our baby boy my little bunny the last couple days, and all of a sudden, bunnies have been appearing out of nowhere, and I think this is like the craziest sign of them all. These guys are just chilling. They're chilling. Oh my god, there's another one. <laughs> Someone's acting like our dog, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, it's really cute. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, the ice cream. Even the creamy ice cream flavors are made of like oat milk, coconut milk, I think soy milk, all dairy free, all refined sugar free. And then of course they have sorbets. So I got rose water sorbet, lemongrass, and oh my god, they're literally petting the bunnies. I think these are like, no? Oh. Hey bro, what are you doing? Cut that out. We were told if you want to pick them up by the people to do that. Yeah, we, would want, we wouldn't do it. Because that's what you said. Alright. <laughs> no, because not only me. I love, I love rabbits. Alright. So I let him go. But, um, yeah. One of those bunnies. Yeah. We were told that if you need to pick them up, you have to buy the ears. Oh, no. Yeah. You can't do that. We said that. It's fine. It's one of the Jake, workers. Jake, 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 I'm just going to do it. Brennan's pissed. Why are you pissed, Ben? I want to start with people who f with people for fun. I saw these teenage brats making maniacal laughs and picking up these f***ing bunnies by their f***ing ears, so I had to say something about it. So I told them off, and they said, No, we were told. You witnessed the whole thing. I just did not like people thinking that they can do what they want to animals, because I'm a softie. So one of the things that we haven't shared with you guys before is how do we have two dogs and are gone on a month-long trip. It's a highly technical process of making sure our mother-in-law is well-fed with gifts and treats and requesting dog videos. I'm already like stage six, seven of missing them. We still have like a long time left. You ready to feed the baby? Ready for breakfast. Who's more excited to get fed? You or Bubba? Bubba. Bubba? Yeah. Last night, Bubba kicked mom so f***ing hard that she literally jumped and like had eyes like she got bit by a snake on her ankle. It was that hard of a kick. It was super hard. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and then he was so active. He was like somersaulting and turning. So they're doing something really good in the back kitchens here. So what you going for first? Asian food. Always. These are Prawn so dumplings good. are crazy. They go hard here. Look at all these wallet oh, shops. It's crazy. This soup section is a dream. Yes. Asian food is number one to us, and we can have it for breakfast. <laughs> Where you love traveling to Asia and doing the buffets in the morning, and it's like so good. Thank you. 63. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's something that's really nice is that most of the things that you order from them, they just say they're gonna bring it to the table. So you're like, awesome, so I have more space on my plate. I like the way you think, girl. I love breakfast food, but I also love dinner food for breakfast. Absolutely. Are you gonna make me a salad? The thing I've been doing is like grabbing my own salad and then Brennan, of course, genius, is like, hey you guys, can you chop this for me? And I'm like, I've been chopping my own salads this whole time and we can just chop it for me. Well, because you wanna put all the raw on the plate, but the raw is too bulbous. You know, when there's that much bulbous lettuce. Am I ever using this word yet? agree that pastry plates should be like triple the size like no dessert plates should be this big so clearly we went ham at the pastry selection mm-hmm this is the shared plate, right? No, this is cheese and chocolate. I don't know cheese and chocolate. Which is like something that everyone knows, but for some reason Catherine doesn't. Cheese and chocolate is very common.
All right, we are back to where this trip originally started. We are in Dubai. It's a bittersweet ending to Maldives because of course we're gonna miss it, but we're actually on the way to the airport right now to head over to our next location, which is, Brennan, where are we going? Hello? Yeah. Where are we going? The house of the Pharaoh. Going to Egypt, baby. This is a bucket list trip. I cannot wait to get into that vlog. So let's go ahead, finish this one, and get into that one right now. I don't feel as pregnant as I look. But like in the videos, I'm like, I look like I'm gonna topple over. You're a little bulbous. Bulbous. Bulbous is your Bulbasaurus. Bulbasaurus Rex. Wait, isn't Bulbasaur like a Pokemon? I don't know. I'm just pregnant. Okay. 